And so I just want everybody to remember that we've been trying to overthrow Assad. This is from 2005. This is from 2005. Mr. President, you know the rhetoric of regime change is headed towards you from the United States. They are actively looking for a new Syrian leader. They're granting visas and, and uh, visits to Syrian opposition politicians. Uh, they're talking about isolating you diplomatically and perhaps a coup d'etat or your regime crumbling. What are you thinking about that? I think it's fantastic. Thanks for bringing it up. Uh, I love coup d'etat. <laughs> on, on a cracker. Uh, so I just wanted to remind everybody, I, maybe you've seen me play this before, but I just want to remind everybody that the Syrian war is complete bullshit and you're never going to find that out. It's 100% bullshit. They've been wanting to overthrow Assad ever since the friggin' 80s, right? And so now they finally, they found all this the natural gas, the biggest natural gas reserve. And so Saudi Arabia uh, and, and Qatar wants to put a pipeline through Syria so they can sell natural gas to Europe. Well, of course, Russia sells natural gas, 30% of Europe's natural gas. So they don't want that to happen, which is why Russia's on the side of Assad. And it's all about a natural fossil fuel gas line. And that's what this is all about. This was about that in 2005, all right? So these people act like it started with the Arab Spring is just a CIA talking point. That's not what happened. What happened was the CIA and Saudi Arabia funded ISIS, El Nusra, Al Qaeda to go in and overthrow Assad. And that that's what's been happening. Okay. So, in fact, thank you very much. I yell that every time I go into a gelato store. <laughs> what he just said. <laughs> Verbatim. <laughs> go ahead. So now people are getting on Trump for pulling out the troops from Syria. Uh, even though we're there illegally. We're, we don't have a right to be in Syria. It's illegal that we're there uh, to start with, right? As we're breaking international law uh, because Assad did not invite us. That's a sovereign country. Uh, also, when he pulled, so people are saying when he pulled out, he should have done something to, to uh, help the Kurds, which he probably should have. What he should have done was facilitate Assad uh, making an alliance with the Kurds, which is what have, should have, I've been saying that should have been happening a long time ago uh, because the Americans uh, to screw over the Kurds every time. You know, it was George Herbert Walker did it the first time. Uh, we're going to do it. We did it. Now Trump does it. So what they should have done was made it now, and what they are doing now is making an alliance with Assad. That is happening. So now that's happening, and we should get the hell out of here. And the, guess what? They say, oh, Turkey's going in. But guess who really is going in? Uh, according to Ben Norton, he says, Incredible Scoop by Max Blumenthal, 21 of the 28 rebel factions in the Turkish mercenary army invading Syria and massacring civilians were supported by the United States. 18 were backed by the CIA, and three of them were backed by the Pentagon. 14 got U.S.-supplied tow anti-tank guided missiles. So that's what Tulsi's talking about when she says she sponsored a bill called Stop Funding Terrorists Now Bill. Do you remember when she sponsored that? Of course, it didn't get passed. Why would you not pass a bill that says we shouldn't fund terrorists? Because we want to fund terrorists, which is what we're doing along with Saudi Arabia. We are f directly funding ISIS, Al Nusra, which is Al Qaeda. We're doing the same goddamn thing we did in Afghanistan. We're inventing the uh, Al, Al Qaeda, or the Musahadeen is what they were back then. So what I just tweeted out was if people knew what was actually happening in Syria, they'd just be as angry as outraged in Tulsi because Americans will never know the truth about Syria or how the CIA and Saudi Arabia funded ISIS and Al-Qaeda to overthrow Assad for a gas pipeline because the new SU news is funded by the military-industrial complex. And that's a fact. In fact, Forbes will tell you there's 15 billionaires who own America's news media companies. So that's why you're never going to find out the truth and you have to come to jag off comedians in their fucking garage to tell you the truth. Check fucking mate. So I just wanted to set the table because now we're going to talk about... Uh... Do you know how good the food is in Davos? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I have been to Oslo, and uh, they're not really so about good. freedom, uh, if you've ever been. If you can just release your conscience... <laughs> 
that. Your palate opens up. Yeah. Our next live Jimmy Dore show is November 5th in Buffalo, New York, November 17th in Philadelphia, and December 27th in Honolulu. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all of our live shows and become a patron or a Jimmy Dore show member at jimmydorecomedy.com slash join and uh, support the show. We give you hours of bonus content every week. Thanks for your support.